here with Matt Bland from Peak Bland Sports and he's going to tell me a bit about pronation. So Matt, what exactly is pronation? Well I guess everybody's got a, a different version of it but we, we try and keep it simple in the shop. Um, Pronation really is um, when the foot rotates inwards. So over pronation can be quite common with people say flat arches or fallen arches or any sort of symptoms like that. It can be can be common in a lot of people. It's it's probably um, you know they maintain that there's some stats that it's obviously 80, 90 percent of runners, but obviously that's at very different levels. So you know when we do gait analysis like we've got next to us, we can see all sorts of different levels of pronation, and sometimes you want to correct that, and sometimes you don't. And so is it just overpronation that you need to be aware of or are there different types? Well there is supination but you know they maintain that there's not really a lot you can do for supination that's when you go outwards so you're looking for a fairly neutral shoe um, when there's pronation you know there is times and, and sort of situations where you do want to correct that but sometimes if it's, it's fairly low key or it's or there's only fairly minimal sometimes you don't want to correct that you want the foot to be natural so it just depends on the level of overpronation there is. And so obviously being in Kendall you sell a lot of trail running and fell running shoes. Mm -hmm. We don't see a lot of support in those type of shoes, do we? Why is that? It's just down to the nature of the terrain that you run on. So obviously, you know, when you run off-road it, it can get rough. So if you're on a fairly, you know, manicured or, or, or nice trail, which we don't get around here, <laughs> which is a good thing, um, then obviously, you know, a, a pronation shoe may be effective. But then I would recommend probably a road shoe if you're doing that anyway. But as the as the terrain and, and the you know gets rougher or the trails get rougher or you get onto the fell, then obviously the nature of the of the terrain is that your foot is, is getting thrown around all over the place. So therefore that natural motion that you may see on, on a treadmill when you're doing gait analysis or when you run on the road isn't the same on, on off-road. So therefore if you've got a that the pronation isn't as obvious um, and if you do put sort of stability um, systems or pillars in there, it can sometimes have a negative effect as opposed to a positive effect. So generally what happens with an off-road running shoe, uh, particularly the rougher it gets, you just try and keep you lower to the ground, so a more minimal midsole, three, six, six mil, you know, just trying to keep you as low to the ground as possible to, to obviously stop any over-rotation or any over-pronation or, you know, any, any form of stability really. So if people come to you looking for a trail shoe for their first trail shoe, um, then you don't really need to be worried about pronation, is that what you're saying? Yeah, to, to a point, yeah. I mean, obviously you try and get some information from them on, on what they are running on, um, and what sort of terrain they are running on, you know, and if it is, if it is runnable stuff, then, you know, definitely we would still look at the gate, obviously get some idea of, of whether they do overpronate or not. But obviously we get a lot of people here that are running on the fells, um, you know, very open fells and it's just a different ball game altogether. So in that situation, any sort of gate analysis, uh, although effective, you know, in the fact that you know what you do, isn't actually going to help in sort of selection of the shoes. You just don't see stability pillars and, and pronation devices, one of a better description, in, in fell running shoes. You just want to keep people nice and low to the ground just to, just to, to alleviate that over pronation and stability. It's a fairly complicated thing that we just tried to keep very simple. I'm sure other people have different opinions, but at the end of the day, it's a fairly straightforward thing. Oh, right. Okay. Brilliant.